This video demonstrates how to use the Advanced Trade Show Technology Check-In app. During the video, you will learn how to set up the device, launch the application, scan a course, scan an attendee, sync attendance information, and complete scanning activity. Turn the device on using the power button at the top. Verify that the device is fully charged by checking the battery icon. Make sure that the device is connected to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi indicator will be displayed on the bar across the top of the screen. Note that if you are unable to connect to Wi-Fi before the start of the course, you may still use the device to successfully scan attendees into the course. However, the device will not be able to sync the attendance information. To begin scanning, you must first launch the application. Press the home button on the device. If the device is locked, swipe up to unlock. Locate the ATT check-in app on the device's home screen and tap to launch. If you are launching the app for the first time, tap the sync button to pull down course and event data. From the home screen of the check-in application, you will be prompted to scan or enter a course or event setup number. If you find yourself on the course detail screen, press the back arrow to return to the home screen. This is to ensure that you are scanning attendees into the correct course. You must only scan attendees in courses to which you are assigned. There are three ways to enter a course setup number. You may scan the provided course setup badge QR code on the digital panel, or manually type in the course number printed on the badge or meeting materials. To scan the course setup badge or digital panel, hold the scanning device a few inches away. Aim the top of the device towards the barcode and press the yellow button on the left side of the device. This will activate the scanner. You will hear a beep once the scan is complete. To type in the number manually, tap the course slash event code text box to bring up a virtual keyboard. The course number starts with a C, F, H, or L and does not contain any spaces. It is not case sensitive. Press the arrow key once you have entered the number, then press login. You will be navigated to the course detail screen. You must go through the step prior to each separate course or event in which you scan attendees. Before scanning attendees, make sure the course or event number and title displayed on the screen is accurate and matches the current course or event on the digital display panel outside the room entrance. This step is necessary to ensure attendees are scanned into the correct courses and receive credit for attending. There are three ways to scan an attendee into a course. The attendee's name badge, the CDS 2024 Midwinter Meeting mobile app, or you may manually type in an attendee's registration and sequence number indicated on the attendee name badge. Manual entry is not the recommended method of entering attendees into a course and should only be done if for any reason the scanner does not read the barcode. To scan the attendee's name badge or the barcode in the 2024 Midwinter Meeting mobile app, hold the scanning device a few inches away. Aim the top of the device towards the barcode and press the yellow button on the left side of the device. This will activate the scanner. You will hear a beep once the scan is complete. To manually type in the attendee's registration and sequence number, tap the registration sequence text box to bring up a virtual keyboard. Find the registration and sequence number at the bottom of the attendee's badge. Replace the forward slash with a period when entering numbers into the app. Press submit. Each new scan or manual entry will appear at the top of the list with a timestamp. If you are scanning attendees into a paid course, the application will validate that the registrant has paid for the course. Paid courses have course numbers starting with an H or an L. If the scan reflects not paid and they don't have an itinerary email with the course, please send them to the registration desk. If the attendee has not paid for the course, the following message will be displayed on the screen. The attendee has not paid for the course. Please validate that they are registered for the course. Their attendance 
will still be counted, but they may not receive credit for the course. Please verify that the attendee is attempting to attend the correct course. If the device is working offline, you may see a message that says, the device is currently offline. The scanned attendee could not be validated. In this scenario, please ensure that the attendee is attending the correct course. Once you have completed scanning all attendees into the correct course, press the sync button at the top again. It is recommended that you sync course information at the beginning and at the end of your course scanning activities. When an exclamation point is displayed over the sync icon, it indicates that there is pending attendance information that needs to be synced. You may tap the sync button at any time to post pending attendance records. Once you've completed all scanning activity, click the back arrow from the course details page to return to the home screen. Tap the sync button again to sync attendance information and refresh the course roster. Following these last two instructions will ensure that the device is ready to be used by the next person in charge of scanning course attendees. You are now ready to begin using the scanning app. If you need additional help, press the help icon at the top of the screen to view written instructions.